What's up, YouTubers? This is ASH in the kitchen. Guys, I'm going to show you how to make a few simple dishes. First of all, I'm going to show you how to do a simple, let me show you, Maggi noodles. I'm going to show you how to make that. Then I'm going to do a vegetable as well. I'm going to do a bindi bhaji. That's actually uh, called okra. And then I'm going to make uh, lamb chops with um, capsicum. So I've done a little bit of prep work. Let me show you what I've done. I've already opened the packs. I've boiled it. I'm letting it cool down as you can see here. You can see. And I've, I've chopped up all the um, tomatoes, onions, I've got a few green chilies. I've got my lemon, I've got my lime. I'll just put it there just so you can see. And then from my lamb curry, there I've got the capsicums. So let's do it step by step. So let's start off with the noodles first. Not a non-stick pan, just a little bit of olive oil. Let the oil heat up. I've got the six eggs, as you know, that's protein. So it's very important, you need a mixture of proteins. I've got eggs there at the end. After everything is done, I'm going to finally slice the eggs and just top it up on top of the noodles. So keep on watching. So okay. It's very important to add a little bit of water as well because if you don't add a little bit of water, it's going to stick and it's going to burn. So it's very important. And the flame always keep it quite low because you don't want it to uh, high. And now let me show you how the spice goes in. So with these, they've actually already made the masala there. So I'm going to put the uh, masala spice in now. Yeah, then there's the masala spice that's gone in. So now I've got the spice in, I'm going to just mix it, stir it, just get it nicely mixed, all of it. I think that it just needs another one because I like it a little bit more spicy, so I'm going to put another one in. Another one of these masala spice. I've got my bindi okra, just give it a little wash, as you know wash is very important. Just wash it with cold water. You could actually chop probably six together. The important thing is you line all this together and then nicely slice there. So this is going to see just finely chop it. There, there, there. The rest could go up in. That's the way you should be chopping. That's what I'm looking for. That's the way you should chop. There. So bindi is ready. So now let's just finish off with the um, noodles and then the, we can move on. So now I'm putting the tomatoes in. Tomatoes in. So there's the coriander, just freshly, as you can see, it's absolutely fresh. It smells absolutely fab. Awesome. And now I'm going to just wash the coriander and then just chop a little bit of coriander into the um, noodles. As you know, washing is really important because if you don't wash, there's so many things in there. There could be worms, there could be flies, there could be anything. So you have to give it a nice through, through the wash. So take your time. Always the preparation takes the longest, the chopping takes the longest. So you have to take your time on preparation, cleaning. They're the longest bit. But it feels really nice and you get that self-satisfaction doing it yourself. With this coriander, I don't need the right lot. I just want to show you how much I need. Look, 
this is the amount I'm going to be using. And I'm going to just finely chop this. If you there, that's how it looks. Just give it a little stir. It's almost done. So now, guys, as you can see, my eggs is done. So I'm going to just cool it down, take all the shell off, slice it nicely, and then throw it in the noodles. I'm just um, peeling the shell off the egg now. I'm not going to use all the eggs. I'm going to only use about four eggs. And the rest of the eggs, I'm going to make it into an egg curry. So I'm going to do a few different creations today. So keep on watching. Guys, as you can see, the eggs are done now. I'm going to finally chop them up and then I'm going to throw it in the pan. So guys, as you can see now, the eggs have been chopped up finally. So guys, now it's the final bit. Just going to throw the eggs in now. There. For some of you that are thinking, um, how come I put no salt and pepper? Basically, um, with these masala, they've actually got a lot of salt in anyway. And now it's done. I'm going to just let it cool down, literally, and my noodle is done. A simple noodles with egg. And this is what I created. It's a Maggi noodles, and that's done. So guys, watch the next bit now. So after this is done, as I said, I'll make two more dishes. I'm going to make a bindi dish, and I'm going to make a lamb chop dish. So this dish is complete now.